I, 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 I know I'm going to hate this episode. I know I'm going to hate it. I know I'm going to hate it because the first four was cool. And I, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I don't even want to talk because you know how player says previously. We got this nigga. Oh, let me roll my blunt first. Ah! This show is just fucking crazy, bro. I know this dude's about to do some devious shit because y'all keep talking about how the end is going to be crazy. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. He said, somebody said, uh, I'm, I'm going to pause it and everything. Yeah, you probably right. Probably right. Hopefully, y'all rolling up with me. Or got got a, a bong bowl, uh, something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better be smoking with me. If you if you not, I'm not gonna hate you. All right, Bonnet, let's go. Seriously. For his maintenance. Take care of him. Why don't you tell me about your man in Scotland? He's Bree's real father, and I told her when we were in Scotland. I was about to pause it. Wait, we about to see him again? He's coming back in time. Killing one another. What have you done? You executed a man without trial. Stick out your tongue. Honestly, I was about to be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Why the fuck is you have your mouth open like that, bro? Couldn't tell you at the wedding. I wanted to be sure. Confirmed sightings of Bonnet and Wellington. Are we in, in for some shit? Are we in some... Well, okay. Yeah, church. Basically saying you're gonna need church after this. How many times have I put my hopes, my fears, my secret longings into the hands of a being I can't see, can't hear, can't even feel? Hmm. And how many times have my prayers been answered? I don't know. Shit, you asking the wrong person. Why didn't you think of this shit before you came back? You know what I'm saying? That's why you should have took your damn time. Did you find it? You're like... That's crazy. It's paintbrushes. Paintbrushes. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> I think what we're supposed to say. Eureka. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> When was that coined? Like, Eureka? Uh, Eureka, Claire. <laughs> you found your penicillin. <laughs> oh, this is a, it's an ancient Greek word. It's an ancient Greek word. That's what I thought, but I was like, you know, this shall be... Uh, I just wanted to know. <clears throat> I don't think I can get used to this. This makes me sad. I don't like that. The original made me happy. This makes me sad. This makes me like... This is probably going to be my fucking hate... I'm probably going to hate this fucking season. <laughs> Though, if I ever do get famous off my music and I'm on stage, I probably will sing this shit one time. <laughs> Should be fun. Well, she found penicillin.
I've probably seen that book once or twice in my life. Time is a lot of the things that people say God is. There's the pre-existing and having no end. Okay. There's the notion of being all-powerful. Okay. Because nothing can stand against time. Not mountains, not armies. Give anything enough time and everything is taken care of. All pain encompassed. All hardship erased. All loss subsumed. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Remember, man, thou art dust and unto dust thou shalt return. And if time is anything akin to God, I suppose that memory must be the devil. Damn. 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 I, I lightweight when I listen to that shit again, but I could I know I could like listen to it again. You know, I don't have to go back. Everything okay? Damn. That, that, that was deep. Kind of weird on the phone. Yeah. Man, where the fuck she dug that shit out from, man? Actually, I... I just lost a patient. Oh. Huh. I'm sorry. See, I knew you lost more than what I've seen. Do you want me a test for that? <sighs> test it negative. Hmm. The probability of a false positive is less than 5%. It's very rare. Unfortunately, he was part of that percentile. Man, I guess you never really know what's coming, do you? No, you don't. Oh, damn. Did you enjoy yourself? I have to. Gonna we'll have to have that talk with her, man. Probably the good time right now. The light that uh, pleased you, Mrs. Malik. But if it's a military man, what takes your fancy? He thinks you sell yourself short, my darling. Accent hasn't improved much, has he? If your father had been with you, I'd be out leading the charge, not sent home from Brownsville. Starting off too slow. Not too slow, but... Ah, oh, man. Honestly, people were actually singing and dancing when they arrived. Hmm. You know how to get through to people. I did like that start, though. Of the show. Hey, you know, I think to think on my long ride home. There are already universities established here. Harvard, Yale, McKenzie University. <laughs> There's no McKenzie University. There could be. No. Chain. That's not a bad idea, actually. But chain. I could teach math. Honestly, that was just passing time. Thinking about the old days. Things being what they are. That would be awesome to change some time. To be in his militia. And those words mean something to him. And to me. I love a rainy night. I love a rainy night. Yeah, Jamie, show them who you are. <laughs> Damn, that man been in it since like season four, bro. Like. Not a cordial welcome, I expect. Friendly buggers, aren't they? Yeah, they think we're regulators. We don't want trouble again. You've come to violate the king's peace. There's a brigade of redcoats at Laudanum. This will start to take effect quickly. Okay. Lizzie, keep the lantern close by. Uh, yes, mistress. Oh, he's doing uh. She getting them tonsils out of something? 
I'm going to work quickly, but you need to keep very still. Head up. Cork. Okay, I was about to say, how do you keep his mouth open? Okay. Okay. You know what, Claire? Keep the tongue depressed. There. Head up. Pull that in that. <laughs> Steady. Can be the tricky part. Claire, you're awesome. You're awesome. For one, two. Always wondered how they did shit back in the day. Now I know. Are you alright? You know, they probably did it way worse. Very brave, Kizzy. I need to get your rest. Lizzie, can you clean him up and put him to bed? Mm -hmm. no, don't try to talk. You'll hurt yourself. You insist on staying while you do the same for me. Did you not play the Ace of Hearts in the last time? You're mistaken. It must have been the ace of time. Maybe. You're a wise man, Mr. McKenzie. Where did you just put it? Where do you put it? In your tooth? What the fuck? Like, this ain't Grand Theft Auto where you could just put shit anywhere. Soup. Didn't think I'd be gone so long. I was looking for chanterelles, but can't find it. Gonna have to have this talk. See a handful. What is this? You know. It's bonus, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, you didn't tell him that you went to see him? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I wanted to tell you about this, but... I, you know, I didn't think of that at all. And... Try me. You know that I went to Wilmy. Oh, she told him. Okay. It was. You wanted to see him hanged. I did. But. Well, all that don't mean nothing. Said but. I. I felt like I needed to see him in person. So you spoke to him. There. In jail. Yeah. Yeah. Jemmy, so that one day he could go back through the stones. Well, Roger, that's his ticket home. It's our ticket home. Why, though? Why what? Why the what? Why? But Stephen Bonnet and you wouldn't give up this diamond to save his own mother's life. Yeah. Time to smoke. Time to smoke. Yeah. 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 Damn. I ain't really talking through this one. This is just a watching one. I'm just... Because I told him Jemmy was his. He was gonna die, and I thought that it would be of comfort 
for him to know there'd be something of his left in this world. Roger, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know if you were coming back, and I was scared, and I was grieving for you. They are just words. Words you were never, ever meant to hear. Words of consequences. That's true. Words hold weight if you... It's months since I've been back. At the wedding. The blood oaks. You were sure the child was born in Roger, how could I ever know for sure that Jemmy is his? He told him so. You've never said as much to me. Oh, shit. I didn't think I needed to. Brianna, what do you truly believe? In your heart, what do you truly believe? What do you... What? What? Come on. So she didn't tell him everything. Told him she went there. Okay. Back at church again, huh? I don't believe I've seen you at the adoration before. Were you a friend of Mr. Menzies? One day I'm going to go to a church like that. I just want to see the church. Graham was a rare individual. Always brought a smile to my face. Yes, he was good at that. Do you mind? Uh, please. Did you know him well? No. Not in the typical sense. Honest, I'm, I'm not quite sure why I'm here. Sometimes even strangers can find a way into our hearts. Oh, that sounds a little creepy, man. That sounds creepy as hell. That that should not be coming from you. The promise he made to his wife to be here. And you a pastor? Outside the love that God has for his children. That sort of love and devotion between man and wife, there's nothing like it. Yes. Reminded me of someone. Someone I lost. No one's lost who's not. So I thought I'd be productive. Out looking for some golden seal for the twins' recovery. I could say the same about you. Yeah, hunting mostly. <laughs> I'm hunting too for the same person you hunting for. Oh, well, you don't even know he's still alive. Of course, but, but you're not buying the hunting ruse. Oh, call it uh, the mother's intuition. Oh, I wish I had a bit of a husband's intuition. You haven't been married very long. Intuition comes with listening and time. Yeah? And speeds. Well, take it from someone with a lot of experience. But marriages aren't always easy. Well, you and Jamie. Oh, forgetting. Jamie wasn't my first husband. Now, Frank and I, we made a very complicated marriage. Very complicated. No, I don't mind talking about it. Yeah, you're at that age, um, Claire. Time a lot lately. 
Yeah, Frank and I, we... We still managed to make it work. For Bree's sake. But to make it work, you had to lie to Brianna for most of her life about her real father. Do you ever regret that? No. Okay, hey, you can't... It was that Brie felt safe and loved by both her parents. I tell her the truth about Jamie that brought the two of you closer. It did. So surely the moral of the story is honesty is always the best policy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, literally. Honestly. Sometimes the truth really does hurt. Yes, it do. Brianna was devastated and angry. When I told her that Frank wasn't her real father, you witnessed that. And you witnessed that. There was no way she could have understood the truth as a child. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find the right time to tell her. That's, that's. Man, this is the deepest episode for real. Like, Both together. damn, you gotten wise. She, you don't have to stay clear. <laughs> Across the creek and found some chanterelles. Like me. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Don't say that. I'm sorry, Brianna. Okay, say that. I'm sorry for everything. Damn, you know, um, this is teaching me how to be a good husband, you feel me? <laughs> Just say you're sorry, even if it's not your fault. Even if it's your fault? Just say sorry. Just say sorry. Make it up. Stephen Bonnet is still alive. He doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Travel. We'll use Bonnet's gem to leave. Okay. As you said, it's our Okay, okay, but are we gonna kill Bonnet? Is that still a mission? Roll. Then you and your men can disband and go home. Alright! On your way, you'll deliver these pardons to those living in the camp. Anaphylaxis. Apparently a penicillin reaction. I'm sorry, Dr. Randall. Why wasn't I notified? I... I, I don't know. I'm new here. Well, that's no excuse. I should have been called. I, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Thought I might find you here. What's up, brother from another mother? Doctor and a detective. Ah, the impetuous pirate. Just... Something I picked up at the surgeon's lounge. Who do you think put it there? I never took you for a romance novel kind of guy. It takes my mind off things. Yours too, I'm guessing. It must be the talk of the third floor. The fourth floor. <laughs> Something about Graham Menzies. I let myself get attached to the patient. It happens sometimes. Jesus, Claire, with doctors, not robots. Yeah. It's not just that. Yeah, that's true. Do you ever feel as if... What? As if... Everything is 
pointing you towards something. Yeah, yeah. But you can't quite put your finger. Oh yeah, for sure. Or you can sense it somehow. Are you going to think I've come unhinged? <laughs> Look, there's clearly something on your mind. But in my opinion, the problem isn't in the brain. The problem is in the heart. Man, they hitting, they, they hitting their all cylinders. The Telling you. <laughs> sentimental. Had we gone to battle, there's no man I'd have rather have by my side. That's kind of you. It is a rare thing in this world to meet people. Yeah. Indeed. And I know you share many of my concerns. Betray my oath to king and country. You will do me the service of standing down while I call for your arrest. Oh shit. Foremost. I swore an oath to my family. Surely you must understand. You're a good man. It. I took a life. Yes, you did. Goodbye and pleaded for mercy on their behalf. I believed you were a good man. Which of us is it then? Hmm? Which of us is righteous? Shit, this is deep. It cannot be both. It can be both. No. Oof. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, Jamie. Forgive me for not affording your soldier's death. Woo! How are you going to do this? How the fuck are you going to do this? Look at his face, like... Yeah, do that, please. Please. What, you gonna make it seem like he was in bed? Or he's sleep? Or he died in his sleep? Okay. Burn it. Fucking fire. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Dude, my heart is pumping so fucking crazy right now because it's like... <laughs> I'm hoping he don't get, like, caught in, like, I think he's not gonna get caught, but, like, what the, f like, what consequences is this gonna have? It. A 
Let's go. With all it's, it's left in the locks. There's nothing more we can do for him. Ooh. Yeah, just get out of there. Damn. Add so? Why not? Can't believe it. I can see you have some of that on your mind. Do you remember me telling you about a, a former patient of mine? Graham Menzies. Menzies? Hey. Hey, you told me his death was but a rare occurrence. It was. Do you know what I finally realized? After all these years. What? You realize. Just how much I owe him. You know, his death had a profound effect on me. So much so that I took a leave of absence from work and went to London with Brianna. And that was where I learned of Reverend Wakefield's past. Ah. Had we not attended that funeral, we would never have crossed paths with Roger. Or... Oh, shit! Oh! See, I knew that was important. I just couldn't remember. It's fifth season, you feel me? Welcome home, soldier. God the infinite. God the merciful. That's a pretty cat. Someday I will stand before God, and I will receive answers to all my questions about everything in his universe. Uh huh. And I do have many questions, but I won't ask about the nature of time. I've lived it. Okay. All right. I was scared for no reason in that shit. But shit, six, the episode six will be, got 12, so six will be at the mid mark. And what does that mean? Hell no, no, no. Well, I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. You already know. You feel me? And um, I meant to shout out my um, Patreon. Shout out uh, Shay, our new uh, Patreon. You feel me? Uh, Lisa, Rian, Anna, Fred, shout y'all out. And, um, as you know, if y'all want to support the channel and want to get shouted out, join the Patreon. As always, thanks for watching. Deuces.